Okay, y'all, good morning, good morning. It's uh, Wednesday morning, and uh, I'm fixing to get ready. We're fixing to head back out there to that job. Uh, I'm gonna take the dump trailer with me today because you gotta time things up just right. Uh, the number of attachments I got out there, I'm gonna have to make two trips. So I need to wrap up what I'm gonna be doing. So obviously I'm not gonna be using the brush cutter today or on the rest of this job. And I'm done with the stump bucket too. So those are two attachments that I can bring back on the dump trailer today without having to haul the bobcat back. See, if I if I put everything on uh, on the equipment trailer, that means I got to bring the bobcat home, and it's a it's a it's a 25 minute 25 mile ride one way. So you want to always make sure you know that you are uh... well. You don't want to pull the bobcat any, any no further than what you absolutely have to. <laughs> I mean, that's the truth, really. So, and then, it, because it, if I put the brush cutter attachment on the on the on the bobcat trailer, say I don't say I don't take the dump trailer, okay? Now you keep in mind I got at least two days over there today and tomorrow at least. I'm gonna try to get Friday back, but I don't know for sure. I'm gonna talk to her this morning. Uh, yeah. But what I but the thing is, I, I I would like to have a lawnmower out there. Now that I don't have the brush cutter, I need I, I want to do I'm gonna bring a lawnmower out there. I, I thought about bringing a lawnmower out there anyway, but now that the brush cutter's down, I can do a lot of detail stuff with the lawnmower. One of my lawnmowers anyway. Uh, I'll I'll take the oldest one I got. You know, see, having the tra having a dump trailer, what I, what I can do then is I can put a lawnmower on here, right? go out there we can work today then when I get ready to leave I can load the brush cutter up on the dump trailer I can load the uh, uh, the stump bucket onto the dump trailer and the lawnmower on the dump trailer to bring all that back home right so then tomorrow if it's tomorrow is my last day when I leave there tomorrow I'll be able to bring everything in one trip you got to kind of be thinking like that I think you have to be kind of thinking like that when you're when you're doing Bobcat jobs at uh, where you have more equipment out on the job than uh, what you can haul in one trip. You want to minimize your trips. Now, it's a given I got to go out there today no matter what, right? So why not take an empty trailer? If, if, I, if I don't take an empty trailer out there with me and I just hook, my, and I just hook up to the Bobcat trailer, well, how am I going to get all the stuff off of the Bobcat trailer when I get home tonight without bringing the Bobcat too? So it minimizes everything that you can do. Number one, if I don't do it the way I'm gonna do it, I, I won't have a lawnmower out there. Number two, I would have to bring the Bobcat home tonight in order to be able to unload and then take the Bobcat back out there tomorrow. See, that's what I'm talking about. That right there where somebody else that, I don't know, that just don't think, they might not mind pulling the Bobcat back and forth. But see, I do, because there's a lot that can happen on the road. A flat tire, you're down a day. You just lost a day or uh, a, a pretty good chunk of a day. This is just my thoughts, man, this morning, you know, uh, on why I do what I do, man. And that's what the channel is really all about. Y'all know the other day uh, I was talking about, you know, not having a gas can and all. I had to buy one this morning because the logistics of me at this particular job, is, is going to make it really ugly for me to go get fuel. There's not a gas station within five miles, six miles of that place. More like probably eight miles. So I had to break down and buy a gas can, you know, a diesel can. Uh, usually these cans, where is it at? Usually these cans, they last about a hot freaking week on my, on, on, in my world. They get punctured real easy. They, you know, I hate these gas cans, man. Uh, I'm gonna order me a sure can, five gallon sure can. Uh, I just hate, I hate all this mechanism and all that crap. Usually I, yeah, I'll get rid of that. But y'all get this. So the can, this stupid can was 28 freaking dollars, man. I could have bought another sure can for 45 
And I guarantee you, sure can it last a lot longer than this. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all that, you know, sometimes even I have to freaking, you know, back up on what I might have said or did. Usually I never need a diesel can. I used to keep one, but I couldn't never keep it from getting punctured because it might go six months and not even use it. And it'd be in the truck or on the trailer, all in the way all the time. And if you ain't got a gas can with you, then there ain't no, you know. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna fill a lawnmower up and I'm gonna uh, fill this can up, man. So I don't have to leave the job today. Yeah, so we just pulled up. Uh, so first, first thing I do is I check all the fluids in the machine. Uh, this thing's been burning a little bit more oil than normal, uh, but it's been running pretty steady. So I filled it up with oil yesterday. It was a little bit low. Uh, so we're gonna see how much oil is it? Well, it didn't. It didn't go through that much oil. So I got that right. So. And it's not exactly on level, level ground, but it's pretty level. But I like this right here. We don't have to pick it up that high to put the fuel in it. So, yeah. Huh? I have a pain reliever. I can't get it. Right. I'm thinking about working now, though, dude. We're, we're working now. I'm going to put the camera down because if it didn't, it takes two people to fool with this down okay y'all so y'all see this tree uh, i mean this tree right here is coming down uh it's kind of hard to dig out and it's pretty close to the house i'm not really worried about it hitting the house or nothing because i can get on this side of it and push it down but we may end up having to cut it obviously cutting it off is acceptable because well they got one right here that they did you know that's cut off so we might make that one look like that one and then we're gold uh i don't know that i want to try to dig it up because well it's it's rough on the machine uh and there they got uh well there's a lot going on on the slope and i don't i don't want to be digging on this slope unless i absolutely have to especially not this close to the house uh and digging if it was a sweet gum or something it'd be different but digging one of these out is pretty it's pretty tough uh now i'm gonna go up to it before i determine exactly how i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go up to it and i'm gonna push on it and if it feel if i see the ground move hardcore then that I that I'll I'll uh, I'll go on and push it over, but uh, it's probably not because it's got green on it. So uh, yeah. Okay, y'all. Let me set y'all somewhere where y'all can kind of just see. But you see, you got stuff like this. You see this? That's why they didn't dig that out. You see that? <laughs> That's why. Because I don't know where that goes or what. Well, nothing. Huh? The pipe down in there, you can yeah, I have no idea, man. I just know I don't want to hit it, you know. I hear that. Uh, I'm gonna pull that little bush out, too. Damn, this thing moves. Okay, y'all, so uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go, I'm gonna go down through here and I'm gonna uh, pluck some of these saplings out, you know, uh, pull some of the vines out, spend about an hour right here because this is where they turn in at. And I got Bo gonna work on that piece out front there. So I'm gonna put y'all on time lapse over here.
Okay, y'all. So, uh, y'all see we got started over here. See, Bo be wasting a lot of time, but I let him come back out here because, well, he did pretty good with his money. He didn't have a lot of money last night. So, uh, he, you know, he was calling me early this morning talking about he ready to go to work and he sounded good. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll go on and let you work today. Uh, but bringing the mower out here uh, is, uh, well, that paid dividends because she is like, you know, like we know we don't have the brush cutter. So the mower is the next best thing, right? But anyway, uh, so yeah, so I, I, I made a mistake this morning. I was, when I was at the freaking gas station, at the ethanol free gas station, I didn't put, get freaking two cycle. So I'm having to go up here and get two cycle, man. You know, uh, we've been there two hours and I'm having to pull off. Cause we're gonna run out of, we're gonna run out of two cycle. So I, I put a bow on something real quick. And I, it, I mean, it ain't gonna take me for about 20 minutes. So, but that was just, not smart, right? I, I mean, a bonehead, dumbass move I made. See, things like that are just avoidable. But I'm making up for it because we're gonna be able to, to, to uh, get the whole 5K, uh, because we're gonna be over here all week. So after today, tomorrow, it's just gonna be kinda wrapping up what we do today. And then Friday, it's gonna be power rake, and that's it, power rake and, you know, a little grading and stuff. So I'm gonna make the driveway is gonna is gonna be what really sets everything off, y'all. And again, you could spend a lot of time, and I can't. It's so spread out, I can't get footage of everything either. So uh, I'll probably bring the drone over here tomorrow, uh, uh, Friday, when I do the the uh, power rake. And uh, and I don't even know if I'll have help on Friday. I might. Because you know, if, if if Bo didn't get tore up last night, then that means he's itching. He's doing pretty good this morning, though. Uh, you know. So I appreciate the comments on the video yesterday, man. Uh, you know, I know there's a there's a million different ways that we could do a lot of this stuff, uh, but we're doing the best we can based on what we know, and you know we're not. We're making money, so. And you see all the stuff that I'm doing over here? That's kind of what I've been doing over at the bamboo site since I've had the skid steer. So all the work that I've done at the bamboo site for the Lolo, you know, to learn how to run the Bobcat and make money with it. There's a big difference in owning a Bobcat and being able to move it around than, than actually earning with it. So being over the bamboo site and doing burn piles and snatching out bamboo and digging up tree stumps and pulling trees over and all that it's giving me the insight on what the machine can and can't do like i knew that, that cedar tree up there I, I knew it was a good possibility that i could push it over and that's what i did with minimal impact so uh, that's pretty pretty sweet man really and I talked to her this morning, and she was she was uh, okay with that. I said, "Look, I brought the lawnmower over here," and she looked at the lawnmower. She says, "Oh, wow, that's a big old lawnmower." And I'm like, "I know." I said, "But it it it'll do. Uh, we can we can make do with it. Actually, the lawnmower, given the right situation, it'll do a better job than the brush cutter. But you can take a chance on you know tearing the lawnmower up too." But I mean, right now I got a torn up, tore up brush, brush, brush cutter. So we'll address all that when I get home. Uh, you know, when I got a minute. Okay, y'all. Uh, so I'm finna show y'all how I'm gonna use the mower in here on that edge right there. Uh, and that's why I brought the mower for. So yeah.
y'all. So, yeah. Me and the bow. Bo did good today. Well, he, 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 yeah, he did all right, I guess. So, I got the uh, brush cutter and the uh, stump bucket here on the dump trailer. So, when I get home, I can just dump that stuff and then tomorrow morning, I'll bring the dump trailer back out here. I saw that. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. It goes in the trash can. Yeah, there's a trash can right there. So, on the way, uh, so tomorrow morning when we come, I'm gonna bring, uh, I'll, I'm gonna bring the dump truck with me. So then tomorrow afternoon, I can take the mower home. And then Friday, it is just gonna be power raking because I don't even have to really unload the dump trailer. Well, I, I will, if I hadn't taken a lawnmower out there, I wouldn't even have to. To really even unload the dump truck and actually I don't really have to unload it I could actually hook to my lawn trailer and go out there in the morning with the lawn trailer empty lawn trailer you know put the mower on the lawn trailer and I could just leave the attachments on the on the dump trailer tonight so I get home actually Friday but then I had to unhook this trailer you know I, I, I want to go and get you so I want to I want to customer just texting me y'all Look at what she said. Y'all see that? That makes you feel good right there. We're making a difference, y'all. We're making a difference. But I want to make sure sure that that we're getting the the you know the critical things that are really important to you, uh, even if it's not something we've even talked about up to this point. Because we're there yeah. anyway, and I you know like I didn't know about the cedar tree that you wanted to remove this morning, you know, and you know yeah by me knowing that, then okay, I know that now. You know we can make that happen in the course of us doing other stuff there you know and so if there's anything that you can think of there's a lot of things that you know i would like to have done is see she loves it man and well she just trusts that i know what i'm doing and i do know what i'm doing but i want to make sure that we're taking care of the critical things that she wants to take care of. I don't want her to be shy about, hey, I want to do this and I want to do that because she's paying, right? You know? What is hooked to this trailer? Not a big deal. I pull that trailer around every day anyway. Well, look how thick that plate is right there. Y'all see that? That is crazy, man. I'd be interested to see how this thing, this, this drive motor works, man. But I might not want to, I might just leave it on here, man. Just take it on down to McDonald. You know, pull the, uh, I can't believe I got dirt in the freaking that bucket, man. That's stupid, dude. Man, why well, be doing some J-Bo shit? This brush coat has been a good one. And this brush cutter right here, y'all, is stupid expensive. It's like $5,500, $5,600, man, for it. Shoot, I could probably sell this one for what I got in it. I guarantee I could sell it for $3,000. But then I had to buy another one. Y'all know what it is. Deuces! Deuces! <laughs>